Um, well, sporting equals exist to um, actively increase participation from black and minority ethnic uh, individuals and include actually diverse communities within the UK. So we work with the sports councils, national governing bodies of sport, professional sports clubs, whether that's football, rugby, um, and we have a network of 5,000 BME community groups, some sports, some faith organisations. So it's really about our role within the sports structure is to be the conduit between sports infrastructure and grassroots sport. Um, so that's, that's where we fit in and um, as a public sector organisation we're looking to attract corporates to help us spread our message to increase the, the, the impact of what we deliver at grassroots sport. Um, we believe firmly in the role of sport in terms of community cohesion so really today was a bit of a case of coming along and listening to some people and getting some ideas about best practice from social media, from just about how um, different ambassadors or, or sports personalities can bring their influence to bear on this agenda. Um, so, yeah, it's been very interesting so far. Um, you know, we've, my background is, is from an integrated marketing perspective. So we've, we've been through a sort of situation of, you know, I suppose, establishing what our offer is for the corporate market. Um, you know, there was a very good and interesting session there from Endelman about purpose and marketing, which is just some great food for thought, really. So it's been a case of establishing what our offer is in terms of and packaging that out for, for corporates because we have a, a whole host of, um, sort of products and services which could be of interest in terms of helping to deliver that end sort of end product. We have sort of been successful so far in terms of our corporate engagement. Jaguar have just recently announced a deal to become a partner of ours, and we're looking at other of a corporate organisation. So we have a very compelling offer. I know we've got a very compelling offer and really this has been a great sort of um, audience or environment to talk to sort of like-minded companies, not only about sort of sponsorship but also about partnership opportunities, spreading our reach into Europe and, and beyond that because we have a quite a unique model I think in terms of in terms of our offering for the marketplace. Well I think those two those two um, examples that you've highlighted were fantastic. I think the social media there's some really good practical tips and you know some things I think sometimes this environment, my role is at Head of Marketing Communications, sometimes it's always good to get a sense check that what you're doing is what other people are doing and so, you know sometimes it's not like a, such a fantastic dark art and it's like a lot of common sense stuff but you know sometimes it's that validation really helps you. Jack Brewer was fantastic and inspirational and, and I think his insight and comments and just the way he really engaged the floor was, was really good but I think all the panels have been really interesting and, and given a different flavour to, to what's about. I was very interested obviously in that in uh, the corporates, if you like, you know, when Aviva and BT were there talking about CSI on those programs yeah. and what they deliver. So I think, you know, there's been a, it's been a very well constructed program in that you can take elements of each and it, you know, it, it responds to all the, the sort of spectrums of the, of what CSI and sports all about. Really, there's a lot of people competing for the same audience. You know, um, public sector funding is is is, is diminished, as we know. Um, the, the whole big society about getting people generally more involved in, in their role in, in terms of delivering sport and corporates in delivering sport. I think it's a challenge. I mean, I've had some conversations with some corporates around some of the challenges they have internally. You know, from, not everyone's evangelical about it if you're not in the CSR team and department. So for us, it's about the fact that you, know, you can marry up commercial objectives as well as, and deliver on those as well as give something back at, in terms of your CSR um, um, responsibility, if you like, in, in, in broad terms. So, that's going to be tough because everybody's going after the same people, but um, you just have to make sure that your offer is more compelling and, 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 you know, and the outputs are going to work for them.